Water control your devices effortlessly with KME Smart IoT Cloud, the ultimate solution for your seamless home automation. Learn how to easily set a timer using the KME Smart IoT Cloud to control your devices with precision. We are going to be using the uh, ESP32 board, this beautiful microcontroller. Okay, we are going to use the uh, 12 volt fan and uh, this relay module, okay, 5 volts. Now let's start with our connections, okay. So with three, uh, three pins, this is the VCC of the relay module. The yellow wire, oh, of course, is the uh, input, okay? Input pin in the data pin and uh, the red, the green for us is uh, the uh, ground. Okay, now uh, this is, I connect this cable to plus of the uh, fan, okay, and uh, then let me just, okay, uh, the relay module and uh, we're going to be connecting, okay, uh, so this wire, the plus of the uh, the fan is attached to the uh, common of the relay. The common, okay, guys. And then I connect. I grab this wire. Okay, we are going to use the uh. Uh, an external power supply 12 volts okay so i connect the plus of the uh, external power supply to the uh, normally open to complete the secret the secret i think is that okay now the negative of the uh, the the uh, 12 volt external power supply is attached to the uh, minus of the um, uh, our uh, our um, fan okay guys let me just adjust my camera just a little bit okay i think it's okay right now now we keep on making okay the connections if you want now i i, I don't need these wires okay i just need uh the wires coming from the uh relay okay uh, now let me connect uh the um this yellow wire to gpio 23 okay the data pin um and uh, then the uh, the vcc from the uh from my relay module is attached to to ground and uh ground okay it is ground and uh, the vcc to to the in let me connect to the uh to 3.3 volts okay guys okay now um let me just uh okay let me just do that so and then we go to google 
to upload KME Smart Tool. Okay, so we go to Google right now. Okay, uh, we go to Google and uh, then we type KME Smart. So KM Smart. Then we click with the first link. Okay, website. Then we click click on installation. Then we go we go down. We we scroll uh, um scroll down. Okay, so my PC is is using Windows. So Windows. So I download Windows. Okay. Then I check the download. Okay, it's processing. Okay, it's done. Now I go to to downloads. Okay, I click on extract uh, all. Okay. Okay, it's going to extract just few seconds and uh, it's done. Go, 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 go. Move, 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 move. Okay, done. Now you click on this, you click again, then you open you ex uh, you you're going to um, uh, execute uh, the first file okay we can use these boards okay um, um now you click on this then you click on, on this then you click on run away run away run run white okay now you click on this side you click you choose the um the port of your board okay you pick the port of your board then you you click on connect then you click on upload the firmware and uh, you, you're gonna uh you wait we wait for a few seconds okay because we are now uploading the firmware to our esp 32 board okay so just few seconds you see the, uh, that so it's uploading the firmware okay okay uh, I think it's done now you quit you go to plus you click on that and you click on re relay this is the command that we're going to be using today okay to control that 12 volts fan okay so you give a name to your to your command okay then you click on this so we chose we choose the um uh gpio 23 because we are using gpio 23 now on the uh, input okay we put none because we, we we are not using uh okay we are not using any okay you go again and you scroll down and you click on none okay like that then you click on fire okay to uh, upgrade then you click on okay now you go to your phone okay uh, you click on km smart app okay then you click on plus i mean we can remove this uh this project okay remove okay now you click on plus add a device you provide the name of your uh wi-fi of your uh, network okay and uh, that technology should should be 2.4 g okay you press the boot uh, uh button so the uh built-in uh 
uh, LED will flash every 0 0.5 seconds. Now you click on add device, you give a name to your device, okay, to your project. So for us, relay underscore uh, fun. Okay, you go back, you click on this card, go back, go back. You can refresh your app. Now we can control the uh, the fan, okay? As you can see, we are controlling the fan. Okay, guys. Now, if you click, we, we can control from, from here, okay? like that that's great now if you press the button we can set a timer okay so we we're gonna be doing uh, we're gonna let me see five seconds and uh, when after f five seconds it will uh, okay uh, you see so now i want uh, this to turn off when after four seconds okay one two three okay three, four so it stops okay now let me turn on after 10, 10 seconds we click on stop then we start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you see great Thank you so much, guys. The benefits of using KMA Smart IoT Cloud for setting timers. You don't need to program your board. You don't need any code. So I encourage you to try out KMA Smart IoT Cloud when it comes to set a timer explore its other features i invite you also to like share and subscribe for more iot tips from kme smart iot cloud